what made you want to come to the museum with us? I thought you don't like museums. I never said I don't like museums, I said that I was gonna give it a try. Okay, fair reason, Chloe. I thought you were willing to try the museum as well. I'm glad that you can join us. I'm glad that I came to the museum too. Oh my gosh, what is that supposed to be? It kind of looks like a weird caterpillar, but I'm honestly not sure what it is. But what I do know is that it's in a museum that we're in. That looks very weird, but we are underwater after all. Wait, how the heck can we brave the underwater when most of us aren't fishes? This doesn't make sense. Ugh, Benson, you mentioned this before, and we told you that this is cartoon. What part of that was Uncle Benson? Always complaining about being underwater despite not being fishes. Listen, Benson, I'm underwater despite not being a fish, but you don't hear me complaining about it. Besides, it's called Chloe's life in Bikini Bottom for a reason. I don't care. What else doesn't make sense is that you live in a pineapple under the sea. You know SpongeBob is the one who lives in the pineapple under the sea, and you're not SpongeBob. Oh, this isn't SpongeBob SquarePants, and not only do I live in the pineapple under the sea, but Mom, Dad, and my brother, Tall, lives in the pineapple under the sea as well. That only makes a little sense since they are your family. That reminds me, Benson. Me and Sporshroom don't have parents, but we do live with each other. How can you live with that only mushroom girl? She is very weird and ugly. Excuse me, Benson. First of all, I am not a girl, I am a boy. Second of all, I am not very weird and ugly. I may be a fungus, but I have feelings. Uh, Kelly and Sporshwoo, I'm not sure, but I think you two should kiss each other and marry each other. Just to see. OMG, Robin. How disgusting can you be? We're not kissing each other. And another thing, we're not marrying each other. Come on, guys. Let's see the next thing. All right, Chloe. Oh my gosh, is that a golden spatula? It sure is, Chloe. But to be honest, that golden spatula is beyond pathetic. Not to mention harder to pull. Look at Mr. Goodman. Ew! Poor! I can't get this spatula up from this ancient grease. I'm out of here. Wait, Goodman is giving up already, but he's supposed to be strong. What makes you think that, Chloe? Well, he's rich, that's why he's supposed to be strong. What the heck are you talking about, Chloe? Just because Mr. Goodman is rich doesn't mean he's strong. He was unable to pull that golden spatula out from that ancient Greece. Besides, Chloe, you can't always be strong just because you're rich. You can be less strong but be rich. Wait a second. It says here many have tried to pull the spatula from this ancient Greece, but all have failed. Only a fright of worthy of King Neptune himself can wield the golden spatula. Jinkies, that must mean that I will be able to pull that golden spatula from that ancient Greece. I'll go up there and try to pull that golden spatula. Alright, Chloe. That sounds like a plan. You can try and do that. You do work at the Krusty Krab after all. That's true. I might be also strong enough for that. Alright, golden spatula, bring it on. I know I can pull you since I'm a fry cook. That's so easy. You can do it. Well, wait, wait, then you. Well, I don't believe in her. She's not strong enough to pull the golden spatula out from that ancient Greece. Okay. I stand corrected. Never mind then. All right. Who has freed this battle from the Greece? Uh, Neptune. That was me. I'm Chloe Park. Ah! Did you just laugh at Chloe? Laughing at people is beyond pathetic, not to mention rude. Sorry, it's just that how can that little girl be the fry cook at the Krusty Krab? How old are you, Claw? Dude, I'm 10. Well, there you are, Kinetta. You had you supposed to be an adult to have a job. I'm finding a different fry cook. Hey, you must be my new fry cook. First off, I don't make them, I sell them. And second, my dad told me not to talk to strangers. So we we'll pulled the golden spatula. It was Chloe. I saw her with my eyes. Ah, close to you, I'm finding a new fry cook one more time. Hey, Pokemon, did you pull the golden spatula? Of course I did it. I don't have any arms. If anyone pulled a golden spatula, that was Chloe Park. Try to ask her. Alright, fine, I'll ask Chloe. Also, you don't need to be rude. 
You could simply just say no. So, so let me get this straight. You wouldn't only want to pull that golden spatula from that ancient Greece because you were a fry cook. Of course, I'm your new royal fry cook. In fact, that's what I've been trying to tell you, you dummy. Chloe, don't be rude. He just didn't know that. Actually, I knew that Flo is a fry cook. I just love someone pulled the golden spatula and gave it to Flo. Anyways, Flo in my park, I challenge you to the ultimate cook off. Do you accept that challenge? Chloe, you're not gonna accept this dumb challenge, are you? I accept your challenge, Neptune. When do we start this cook off? What, Chloe? What the barnacles are you doing? Excellent, that sounds like a plan. Are you willing to meet me at the stadium for this challenge? Hey, Chloe, can we have a chat for a second, please? Sure, what's up? I don't think entering King Neptune's challenge is a good idea. He is more powerful than everyone in Bikini Bottom and he might win. What? That's nonsense. Besides, whose first words were may I take your order? Oh, I remember that you said that the first time you talked. Who made a spatula out of toothpicks in Woodshop? I believe that was you, but... I have to complete this challenge. The Crust Elmers are counting on me. Alright, fine. But if you lose, we will no longer be your friends. Hey, Neptune. Challenge accepted. That's good to know, Clo. You know, I sure hope Chloe wins. She does work as a fry cook at the Krusty Krab after all. You know, Winsford, I agree. Come on, Chloe, we believe in you. What? There's nothing using his pile! I'm pretty sure that's against the rules in the ultimate cook -off. Friends have got disqualified for using his powers in one of those tournaments. What are you doing, Tim? Don't you just not be your friends anymore. You traitor. Hilda, Frida, and David, don't rush me. I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, Neptune. How are you still in the competition while using powers? Yeah, Kelly's right. That is cheating. Okay, so far, Kelly and King Neptune are at one point each. Alright, and down 990 to go. King Neptune, will you slow down? Because I'm gonna lose my friends if you win. Who can do Chloe? Don't let other people win during competitions. It's not how it works. Hey, Neptune. There is no way in five minutes did you make a lot of patties. Honestly, if Neptune was one of my students, I would write him up for cheating in the competition. No wonder Neptune has more patties than Chloe. He is using his pants. That could cost him a disqualification. Come on, Chloe. Remember our talk. If you lose, our friendships will be over. You guys will know that I am not Sonic the Hedgehog. Besides, I can't hurry up. He's gonna win anyway. You're right, Chloe. None of us is as fast as Sonic. That don't change the fact that I won. Ha <laughs> ha! You are a loser! Free patties for everyone! You call this food? Yeah, that do we. Our sandwich tastes disgusting. What on earth did you put in these? I can't believe this. You lost this idiotic competition. We're very mad at you, Chloe. Oh my gosh, haven't we had this conversation before? Going fast or not, he's gonna win anyway. We don't care. You could have went faster than Neptune. We are no longer your friends. What? I'm losing my friends again? Is what we would have said if people didn't hate Neptune's patties. But because people hate his patties, we're still your friends. People would be booing at me in my patties for any other reason. I must have made them disgusting. Clo, can I try your patties, please? Sure, here you go. Try one of my patties. Thanks, Clo, you're the best! My test's so good, I think I'd like to try it a second time. I can just do you, Clo, park you in. 
Really? That's amazing. I won. Chloe, do us a favor. Don't ever join Neptune's challenge again. We almost ended our friendship with you. I am really sorry. Fortunately for you, Chloe, your apology is accepted. So, Chloe, how would you like to come to Atlantis with me? You know what? No thank you. If I go with you, I'll lose my friends like I almost did before the crowd booted you. Alright, Chloe, that's fine with me. Good game, by the way. You made the right choice, Chloe. We are proud of you. What made you not want to come to Atlantis with Neptune? You told me that wasn't a good idea to enter King Neptune's challenge. And I figured going to Atlantis is also not a good idea. I don't want to lose my friends at all. Well, you made a right choice. And yes, going to Atlantis is a bad idea. But we're glad you made the right choice. So, you guys wanna hang out at my house? Sure thing, Chloe. Sure, why not? Sounds like a plan. I can't believe I completed in King Neptune's challenge. I never want to do that again. We're glad that you don't want to join Neptune's challenge. And we're also proud that you won. We all love and care for you no matter what. But next time a stranger asks you to complete in their challenge, you say heck no way. Okay. Okay, Hilda, Frida, and David. I won't complete in any stranger's challenges anymore. Good. We hope you learn your lesson. Oh, don't worry. I learned my lesson today. I'll listen to people I know. Well, good. Thank you. Curse this curse, mostly fog! I can barely see past me, oh no! <laughs> Gosh, my ship is ruined! Hello, side assistance! I've got a bit of a flat! My location where I we staying! Business or residence? Residence! Rules! Dad, a ghost. Who are you and what are you doing in our house? I'm a flying Dutchman! And I'm stuck here while my ship is being repaired! Until then, I'm gonna haunt you in your family! Okay, I'm gonna find some help. Good idea, Chloe. Lollipop, gelatin, leafy, teardrop, help. What? What do you want? You want? Guys, you four have to help me. There's a GHGHGH, a ghost in my house. Flo, how many times did we have to tell you we don't believe in ghosts and we all have you now? Now, get out of our sight. Hey, Dutchy, why are you living in our house exactly? Because I need somewhere to live while my ship is being repaired. But, let us give you a warning. Mr. Goodman comes for our house payment once a month, and tonight is the time of the month. Don't scare him, okay? And when will that be? Right now. Hello, Goodman. You must be here for our house payment. That is Cora. Wait a minute. Is that a good? That's the Flying Dutchman. He's gonna be living with us until his ship is repaired. Are you kidding me? So, don't you still want our house payment or what? No! I'm out of there. I'll come back for your house payment next month. Flying Dutchman, you better be gone by the time I get back. Kelly and Spor Shroom. Kelly and Spor Shroom. Kelly and Spor Shroom. Kelly and Spor Shroom. Hello, Chloe. Is something wrong? Because we heard you scream our names like you were scared. Kelly and Spore Shroom, you gotta help me, the Flying Dutchman. Chloe, we are not gonna help you. Because one, I'm still mad at you for doing a panty raid in my, I mean, our house. And two, that ghost still owes us an apology for giving me a black eye and my BFF. Kelly, a hanging wedgie. Have a good night, Chloe. Oh my god, what is food wrong? Isn't it obvious? She's trying to find help with all of our problems. And another thing, who is that yellow truck in this house? My truck, get it! My name is Paul. I am Chloe's brother. No! Not possible! There's no way that your Chloe's brother calls for a truck! Jeffy, 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 help! Hey! The what, Jane? Jeffy, you have to help me. There's a GHGHGH, a ghost in my house. <laughs> Gosh. Darn it. I thought Jeffy was gonna help me with the Flying Dutchman problem. That must be Chloe. 
Hello, Chloe. Were you able to find any help? Unfortunately, I was unable to find any help from anyone. Lollipop, gelatin, leafy, and teardrop don't believe in ghosts and they hate me now. Kelly and Spore Shroom were still angry at me for doing a panty raid and... I'm gonna stop you right here. I understand, but at least you tried. Thanks for trying, Chloe. You're welcome, Mom. But that means we're stuck with the Flying Dutchman now. So, who would a friend? Richard, and talking truck to what do they do for a living? Chloe, wanna answer that question? Sure thing, Mom. I work at the Krusty Krab, and when I work there, I usually serve Krabby Patties to the customers. I attend at Eric Allberg's boating school. Master Shake and his friends are always mean to me and they want to kill me. I hang out with my family and friends. In boating school, Eric Allberg teaches his students about stuff. For example, learning how to drive. Are you the me? Working at the Krusty Krab? Learn how to drive? You're seriously in boating school? How old are you? I'm 10 years old. That is even worse. You should be fired from the Krusty Krab Zone from Eric Goldberg's boating school and the 10 post in an elementary school. Hold up. Not only is Chloe in boating school, I'm also in boating school, too. That is even where you're a truck. You shouldn't even be attending school at all. We don't tell you how to live your life. So, you shouldn't tell us how to live our lives. I don't care. When Alfred also, you, you have a job. I do not have a job. I don't like having a job. That is the most laziest reason I haven't ever heard of. Well, if you get a job, for goodness sakes, you're in out. For the last time, I don't want a job. Why does everyone keep telling me to get a job? Whatever. Don't get a job. Get evicted by good and I don't care. Don't come crying to me when you lose the house. Will you leave us alone, please? It's our life. Hey, Dutchman. How's it? What the heck? I wasn't expecting a party. Who, who guess we have so much in common? You like teddy bears? I like teddy bears. You like ponies? I like ponies. Excuse me. I never said we have anything in common. Also, this isn't your house. Flying Dutchman, did you have this ghostly party without our permission? Who said I needed permission for this party? These aren't my boss. Well, we let you live in our house until your ship is repaired, so you have to follow our rules. You have to ask us before you do stuff like it. And another thing, why is Nancy in your ghost party? She is not a ghost. If anything, she's a human. She's in this party because she is my girlfriend. I am not your girlfriend. You invited me to your party at Chloe's house, which is a pineapple for some reason. Oh, no, 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 no. This is extremely unacceptable. Flying Dutchman, you are clearly making a mess in this house. Can everyone who was invited by the Flying Dutchman get out of my house, please? Dutchie, do you want to spend eternity on this couch? Well, it's comfy! Listen to you. Dutchie, you're a ghost of your former self. I you right, Ooh, Winifred, Richard, and Tom. I'm pathetic. Yes, you are. But we're going to raise you up from your squalled conditions. Chloe, you better reclaim his dignity right now or you will be grounded. Why do I have to do this? Well, you reclaimed Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy's dignity by getting them out of retirement. So I figured you can reclaim the Flying Dutchman's dignity by making him scary again. There was absolutely no reason to threaten to ground food. What kind of a parent are you? Excuse me, don't you dare talk to us like that. We grounded Chloe twice. One was for going camping with Shake and his friends after they told us not to come. And one was for doing a pandy raid at Kelly and Spore Shroom's house. Both are 15 minute episodes and have Shake and his friends playing major roles. Stop breaking the fourth wall, Winifred! I'm gonna give you a G if you keep doing that! Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need for the wedgie threat. So, you're telling me no need for a wedgie freak, and I tell you no need for a grounded freak. That's not fair! Actually, that is very fair. Wedgie threats aren't necessarily, but grounding threats are. We only ground Chloe in camping and gelatin's top secret club. But now, we'll ground her if she doesn't reclaim your dignity. Okay, that makes sense now. Wedgies can be painful though. Speaking of wedgies, I've done a hanging wedge -a challenge and a bungee wedge -a challenge before. Oh my gosh, you're very disgusting! I don't understand why your underway dust have holes after you do those challenges. 
Did you just yell at me? That wasn't very nice. Also, that didn't scare me at all. Unfortunately, Snow is blur. I can't seem to scare anyone. Maybe people just don't believe in ghosts anymore. Wait a minute. I think you just gave me the answer to all your problems. I want you to scare Lollipop, Gelatin, Leafy, and Teardrop since they don't believe in Ghost. Also, I'm tired of them being so mean to me ever since I was banned from his club. You sure that's gonna reclaim this dignity? I am very positive. Tall, what's the worst that could happen? Yo! <gasps> that's a good idea! Why haven't I thought about that? I don't know. We haven't thought about that either. So, give it a try please. Good idea! Winifred! Also, I am all to clue for having an amazing idea! Cool! You're coming with me! You know what? Flying Dutchman, that sounds like a plan. Awesome! So, guys, what do you guys want to do tonight? <laughs> what the heck was that? Keleton, Leafy, and Teardrop, did you hear that? Well, 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 I heard you three don't believe in ghosts. Did you just say ghosts? Ghosts! As in the Flying Dutchman! I don't understand. There's no such thing as ghosts. No such thing. No such thing as ghosts. No such thing as ghosts. You three don't believe in ghosts. No, no, that's impossible. Ghosts. Ghosts. Dutchie, it worked. You got your scare back. And me confidence, too. Now I feel like I can scare living criminy out of anybody. Off to Yanks, my girl. Wait, maybe your ship will be repaired soon. Actually, I love fashion. Oh, my ship's been done for three months now. Well, it was nice rooming with y'all. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I paid Mr. Goo and his house payment for you and your family for the last few months. Now, it's time for me to ruin more souls. <laughs> Good old Dachi. I can't believe he scared those meanies and pay Mr. Goodman. Thank you.